Green Inn Garden Fresh on Table. Welcome to Asian Garden to Table. I grow over 60 different kinds of vegetables in my garden through a year. Yu Choi Sum is one of our most favorites. Yu Choi Sum is grown for its flowering stalk. This crunchy, tender, and tasty stalk will not last long after it is picked. Because of short storing time and vulnerable in long transportation, Yu Choi Sum is unpopular and expensive in stores. But it is great for backyard growing. Yu Choi Sum seeds germinate in 5 to 7 days after sowing. You can sow them directly in your garden, but I always recommend you to store your seeds in seed starter to save time and space in your garden. In 14 to 18 days after cotyledon, Yu Choi Sum will grow 4 to 5 leaves and is ready to transplant. Yu Choi Sum is a warm weather vegetable. The best temperature is 57 to 77 degree. It can actually grow as low as 34 degree and as high as 86 degree. Some cold resistant varieties can even survive in short freezing weather. In south of China, farmers grow yu choi for flowering stock all year round. Usually cool weather produces the best quality of yu choi stock and there is a very tasty sweetness in the stock, while in hot weather it may taste a little bit bitter. Put a lot of organic fertilizers or compost in your garden. Organic fertilizer is a great base for growing vegetables. It provides slow release and comprehensive nutrients to your plants and improves soil quality. Here is my experience of using organic fertilizer in my garden. First, always bury the organic fertilizer deep in the soil. Organic fertilizer is very rich and may contain or attract kinds of bacteria, bugs, and worms. It will be much safer if organic fertilizer is buried deep under the soil. At the same time, the microorganism in the soil will help to break down the fertilizer into absorbable nutrients for vegetables. This will also prevent the fertilizer exposed and flushed away by the rain. I do not recommend to use organic fertilizer in or after the mid of your vegetables growing cycle. One hand, at this stage, vegetables need a lot and fast nutrients to boost. Organic fertilizer works slowly and may not be able to catch up the vegetable's growth. The other hand, vegetables already have their roots spread out in the soil and leaves cover up the ground. Organic fertilizer works better if buried in the soil, but this will hurt vegetables' root and leaves. Inorganic fertilizers will do better job for this stage. Depending on varieties and growing season, your choice growing space can be more than one foot or half foot apart. Late varieties are usually bigger. In cooler weather, your choice blooms later and grows bigger too. Fully water your seedlings after you finish transplanting. Once your choy set its root in your garden, it will get into leaves growing stage. Depending on varieties and growing season, this stage can last from 7 to 21 days. The first weeks, your choy start to get used to new environment and is growing more leaves. The second weeks, if it is in cool weather or late mature variety, your choy will continue to grow new leaves. You will also notice that its stem gets thicker. You may see some your choy plants start to grow flowering stalk at the second week. This is flowering stage. Once you see the flowering buds shown up at the center, the stalk will stretch up quickly. In two to three days, the flower buds will grow into full size and ready to bloom. The best time to pick is when the first batch of flower bloom. Usually at this time, you choy tastes best because of the flowers, and the stalk is still very tender and crunchy. 
Do not wait until seed pods developed. The right way to pick the stalk is to keep one to two side sprouts and cut off the top. If too many sprouts are kept, your choice new stalks will be thin, small, and maybe tough. Usually, the time to pick the stalks only lasts two to three days. Once you pick the stalks, it is better to cook as soon as possible, because they will lose their textures and flavors in one day. After your choice main stalk is picked, in few days it will grow few sprouts from the side, and they will grow into stalks too. Although these side stalks are usually smaller, picking your choice stalks is a very favorable thing. The flowers smell so nice. The happy crunchy sound when you pick them will remind you how fresh they are, and of course, the joy of sharing the best vegetable with your family is fulfilled in your heart. Look at these beautiful Yu Choi stalks. The leaves are young and tender, with few new flowers blooming. They exude delicious fragrance. The stems are solid, crunchy, and also very tender. Even just stir fry with some peanut oil and salt, your choy stalks taste very, very delicious. When your choy plant can be picked three to four times in about two to four weeks, depending on varieties and growing season, then it will slow down and even stop growing. You will also notice the plants attract more bugs and worms or suffer from diseases. It is time to completely remove the whole plant, clean the garden area, and get it ready for other vegetables. But don't worry, if you have more your choice seedling to put in your garden, you will have more flowering stalks to eat in two weeks. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy it. See you next time.